Hello everyone, welcome to the new course of Python for Data Science, which is primarily focused on beginners for data science. So in this course, we are going to learn all the techniques which are required for coding, machine learning and data science models. So in the initial module, we are going to focus on basic libraries available in Python. Then we are going to develop a single model and forecast with the help of that model in the final modules. So in the final module, we are going to develop three models and you will be able to utilize all your learnings which you have learned throughout the course in these projects. In the start, we are going to learn about Python basics. Inside that module, we will learn about the introductory session like setting up your system, development, environment, Jupyter notebook and basic data structures like string, list and dictionary. Then we will learn about operators, if, else, for, while. Then we will learn about functions and classes. After that, in the second module, we will understand about data structures available in Python like NumPy and Pandas. Inside NumPy, we will learn about array attributes, statistical functions, linear algebra. Then we will go to Pandas and we will learn about basic functions like indexing, descriptive stats, merge, join and append, apply, then indexing and filters. In the last module, we will do some modeling with help of sklearn. So I'm going to give you a brief introduction about sklearn. Then we will create a function for random data generation. Then we will do a basic modeling. Then we will create three complete ML projects using NumPy and Pandas and sklearn. That will provide you a hands-off experience in modeling. So where you will stand after completing this course? After completing this course, you will have complete Python knowledge for data science. Then you will have machine learning basics. You will be able to deal with data sets and you will be able to do modeling and forecasting with the help of sklearn. What to do after completing this course? Start working with linear regression. Then make your mathematical concept strong and build your own regression without using sklearn. So guys, this is very important since we are utilizing libraries over here. I will suggest you after completing this course, you should try to make your own models using NumPy and Pandas. That will give you a proper understanding about the models and mathematics behind them. So know your instructor. So my name is Jay Shankar Bhatt. I have around four years of experience in data science. I'm currently working as a data scientist in a leading MNC. I have completed my masters in advanced mechanical major advanced mathematics and finite element analysis. Hello everyone. Welcome to the second part of Python for data science course, which is developed for beginners in data science. Now how to get hundred percent output from this course. So guys, there is no substitute for hard work. Keep on coding with me. There are multiple ways to write a code for a single given problem statement. So as a example, I want to create a list in two ways. Either I can use a list comp comprehension that you can see in the second line i for i in range into 10 or I can write down a for loop and try to append the list one by one. No issues if you are not able to understand this example right now. But at the end of the course, you will be able to understand this. You can write a code in multiple ways, then try to optimize the code as much as you can. Ask questions in Q&A. Try to understand the working logic behind the code, then start coding. Stop wherever you have some doubt. Solve it. Do not move further until and unless your doubt is cleared. Hello everyone. Welcome to the second module. In this module, we are going to discuss about setting up your system. Then we will also discuss about development environment. Then we will give you a brief info about Jupyter Notebook, there its layout and markdown all these components. If you are already familiar with Python modules, you can skip this module. So where you will stand after completing this module, you will know about setting up Python for development on any machine. You will be able to play with environment. Then you will know about the components of Jupyter Notebook for Python.
let's go to anaconda as you are able to see the first link you will get is from anaconda cloud click on the link and once you will click on the link you can go to download anaconda scroll down so here you see that there are two versions you can just download 3.6 anaconda version and you can install it from here so once we are done with installing anaconda you can just go to your start menu and click on jupyter notebook it will open up a screen and here you can get uh, your new python file you can click on python 3 and you will get your workbook bench and you can start programming in case you are not getting it here you can go to anaconda and uh, click on anaconda after that you have to type jupyter notebook and it will again open up your jupyter notebook for you here is the basic introduction for python we are on our jupyter notebook as you can see we can change the name of notebook and i'm changing it right now i'm changing it to introduction to python once you change the name of the file over here you can see in your saved file folder the name of the file is already being changed and it's running right now you can see in the green color so coming back to our workbook we can see there are four or five options over here code markdown raw nb convert and heading so let's check what is markdown markdown is basically used for giving us headings or giving us comments for your jupyter notebook code so that if you are giving this notebook to some other guy he can easily understand it as i have written here my name is jay you can see it is not running as in code and if i want to change it to a heading i have to give one hash in front of the string and just press shift plus enter whenever you want to execute anything you have to press shift and enter if you press double hash it will give you a lower heading triple hash means even more lower heading let's start so we will go through print command first and we will print hi it's a very basic command and very useful command to print anything any string any number you can use print command and mostly we'll be using it to print any number any string any time in our code you can execute any number any operation inside it as you can see 5 plus 10 is 15 we have executed inside print command 